Hi, I'm Keith Barton, and in this short video, Alan Kastner and I will describe a very simple technique for the relief of an iris obstructed aqueous shunt. To minimize endothelial cell loss, Barveld implants are best placed as close as possible to iris, as seen here. This can occasionally result in iris obstruction of the tube, which is often not amenable to laser treatment. The simplest, most reliable solution, without moving the tube, is to make a surgical iridectomy around the end of the tube. In this case of primary angle closure, the tube became obstructed 11 years after implantation. To perform an iridectomy, without losing visibility of the tube, I used 23 gauge vitrectomy forceps and scissors. These are introduced four clock hours apart via two 20 gauge MBR blade incisions under viscoelastic cover. This way the target zone remains clear of any incisions that would otherwise obstruct the view. Iris overlying the tube is grasped with vitrectomy forceps. The iris engulfing the tube is gently cut with vitrectomy scissors. And this often requires several small snips. Sometimes it's necessary to swap the instruments round to remove a residual tag of iris, but not in this particular case. The tube is gently teased clear of the iridectomy using viscoelastic. Note that this tube is still partially occluded with a 3O nylon supermid suture. Because of the supermid, extra care must be taken to remove all of the viscoelastic to avoid a postoperative IOP spike. This technique offers a simple method of opening an obstructed tube while maintaining overlying corneal clarity and minimizing the chance of reocclusion. Alan and I hope you find this video useful and we'd like to thank you for watching.